My wife, Karen, our daughter, Charlotte, I'd like to welcome you all to Washington, D.C. for the 44th annual March for Life. My 10th. It's a good day. And it's the best day I've ever seen for the March of Life in more ways than one. I'm deeply humbled to stand before you today, deeply humbled to be the first Vice President of the United States to ever have the privilege to attend this historic day. More than 240 years ago, our founders wrote words that have echoed through the ages. They declared these truths to be self-evident, that we are, all of us, endowed by our Creator with certain unalienable rights, and that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is historic because you are hearing live Vice President Mike Pence address the March for Life and those marchers in Washington, D.C. He is the highest-ranking government official ever to address the March for Life uh, in person. And so he brought, again, uh, the message from President Trump. But to have him there, I just it's a thank you to Vice President Pence because it makes all of the media need to cover it because it's one of his major addresses so far since he took the oath uh, addressing these, this pro-life crowd. And, uh, of course, brings media attention to it. Donald Trump, he's been uh, very critical of the media not covering March for Life. Take a listen. And I think this is why he decided let's send Mike Pence there. Let's bring the media. We, we can, Donald Trump knows he can bring the media where he wants them to go. Right. And, uh, and I think he's using Mike Pence to do that as well. But let's take a listen. Because Donald Trump, our president, thankfully, and I, I love this, scolded uh, David Muir from, I think it was that, is that NBC? NBC, ABC, ABC News, um, for their, the media's lack of coverage of pro-life rallies like March for Life. Take a listen. I know the crowds were large, but you're going to have a large crowd on Friday, too, which is mostly pro-life people. You're going to have a lot of people coming on Friday. And I will say this, and I didn't realize this, but I was told, you will have a very large crowd of people. I don't know, as large or larger. Some people say it's going to be larger. Pro-life people. And they say the press doesn't cover them. I don't want to compare crowd sizes. No, I, you shouldn't. I, I, but, but let me just say, what they do say is that the press doesn't cover them. And again, it's correct. The press usually, it's, it's a passing over. We come back, talk about it more, and on Facebook and Periscope, we're going to go to Mike Pence's. Well, now that we've settled into the new year, we have some really great.